Design must be proved before a designer can be inferred. The analogy between the contrivances of human art and the various existences of the universe is inadmissible. We attribute these effects to human intelligence because we know beforehand that human intelligence is capable of producing them. Our entire ignorance, therefore, of the divine nature leaves this analogy defective in its most essential point of comparison. If whatever exists stands in need of a creator, in what respect then do these arguments apply to the universe and not apply to God? How much more clearly must we perceive the necessity of this very creator's creation, whose perfections comprehend an arrangement far more accurate and just? The belief of an infinity of creative and created gods, each more eminently requiring an intelligent author of his being than the foregoing, is a direct consequence of the premises stated. It by no means follows that because a being exists, performing certain functions, he was fitted by another being to the performance of these functions. That certain animals exist in certain climates results from the consentineity of their frames to the circumstances of their situation. Let these circumstances be altered to a sufficient degree, and the elements of their composition must exist in some new combination, no less resulting than the former from those inevitable laws by which the universe is governed. The laws of attraction and repulsion, desire and aversion, suffice to account for every phenomenon of the moral and physical world. To suppose some existence beyond or above them is to invent a second and superfluous hypothesis to account for what has already been accounted for.